天使猫泥娃，把它卷碎那压抑的手。夜里鸟可是跌得高档，夜里鸟是甜蜜的一个啦。Okay, well, this is a first we got for us guys because literally, I was so damn excited about unboxing this figure that I literally, <laughs> literally forgot to sit down and do an opening、uh, for 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 this video. So, hello, I'm Rocket Itachi, and welcome to some anime figure unboxing. And oh my god, this is the Edward Elric DX version, and I was just I was so excited. So yeah, you've seen the box,、uh, but I didn't actually wax lyrical with you about the box. It is a pretty awesome box,、um, but oh my god, this figure, this figure is so damn awesome. It really is, and I, I feel like I want to do a proper review, but I also just want to sit here and I just generally want to tell you the pure excitement that I'm feeling right now because this figure is just so damn amazing, and I really really hope that.、Um, This lighting is good enough for this because oh my god, he is so freaking amazing. He really is. I can't, I can't say that enough. I really can't. I mean, I just generally, if I want to say like positives and negatives, all that kind of stuff, because I just, I am just purely just giving you my my first opinion on this.、Um, the only negative I'm going to say is these hands are very delicate. Uh, popping onto the base was a little bit tricky, but otherwise,、uh, I know, just, I'm just blown away. I'm absolutely blown. I was blown away with Roy, and this is this is like Roy times ten. It is just, I, I honestly like. I'm gonna move the camera in. We're gonna get a close up on the base. Right, obviously there will be some photos and everything, but I want to show you just how amazing this base is、uh, with a little spin on the turntable. Look at the detail. Look at the sculpting, the faces, like the wailing and the agony as they're screeching out of the actual wall. It looks so flipping awesome. We've got the hands all sort of flailing around, trying to grab him as he's doing the actual transmutation. We've got the transmutation circle at the back here as well, the same as Roy. Oh my God, this is just so amazing. And then we come around to Owl as well, like the Owl. Uh, um, uh, I can't even get this right. This suit of armor. It's just the way that they've done this. It looks so cracked and broken and destroyed. And there's actually like scratches on there as well, where it's just in complete disarray. I just, I am so, so overwhelmed at this base. It is so freaking amazing. I mean, when I saw the pictures of this for the first time, and I did like the whole news thing and everything. I was excited. I need to get this in close up. This, this, this. We just need to go like as close as possible. You need to see this right up close to get this right. I really need to get this as close as possible. Can you see what I mean? Look at those like cracks and scratches and everything. It's just amazing, absolutely amazing. And like I say, the rock as well. The rock looks absolutely fantastic. It's just trying to push it back a little bit here, and just the screaming faces and. Yeah, and I, just I am completely in awe of Kotobuki. I really, really am. They are vastly becoming one of my favourite, favourite companies. They really are absolutely amazing. I just I can't say that enough. And then we come to the main man himself. So I'm going to pop the camera up. So the main man himself, Ed. Look at the determination in his eyes. Look at the tenacity. As well, it's、oh, it's so damn amazing. It really, I can't stop saying amazing. I'm just completely and utterly, I'm like a wreck, man. This is just so so freaking amazing. This figure, it really is. The detail on his actual clothes as well. All of these, I always say this, but all the wrinkles, everything, the sculpting, what they've done here as well for like his his actual body as well. The way his fist is all pumped up as well, and his hand just sort of. Sitting on top of the rock, ready to perform that、uh, transmutation. It's just, well, even he may be performing. I think he probably is from from going by what's going on. But I just, 
yeah, I just I can't get over this enough. Like all of the, the actual red cloak here as well, flailing in the wind from the actual um, the, what's going on. I just it's I, I can't I can't carry on. I just I can't. This is amazing, absolutely amazing. It really is. And I can't I can't say more than that. I just literally this is by far Kotobukiya. I I don't know. You are amazing. You are absolutely amazing, and I just, I couldn't wait to open this figure. So much so that I just said, you know what, the weather's shit outside, it's completely dark on here, dark on in here rather, and hopefully this video is doing this figure justice, and the photos will do this figure justice, because oh my god, if you're a former Alchemist fan, buy it, buy it, you need it in your life, you need this in your life, this is, this is amazing, it really is. And that is the word of the day, people. Absolutely amazing. I mean, just everything about this figure. And I will do an extensive photo shoot, I will. But of course, I've also got to tell you about, because I'm, I'm, I'm like completely like a wreck at the moment of this amazing, amazing figure. Um, I've also got to tell you about the fact that obviously has got another body as well. So like, there goes the turntable. All we wanted that was going to happen. Um, that's uh, a let's go figures turntable. It has a mind of its own. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, here we are. We have the extra body as well. And look at this. Look at the auto mail arm. It's so awesome. It really is. I just oh, look at the detail, man. Look at the detail and the just sculpting and everything and like his face here as well. I just I love the cheeky grin going on here as well. And just like all of like his ponytails, what well, just everything, everything about this figure is just mind blowing. It really is, and I couldn't, I couldn't resist just grabbing these. This is like the first time I've ever, ever done this, ever. So uh, before we go into some photos, I'm just going to uh, set him up uh, with the other pose. Okay, something has just entered my world and ruined my excitement. Yeah, when I was removing the torso. I got a white paint blemish here, and you know what? I can't get rid of that. I tried using magic eraser, and I just can't. Oh, I got a white paint blemish on there. I mean, with the other option, you won't see it, but with this option, you will. Which is a shame because like he looks really freaking awesome with the auto mail, uh, sort of like with his hands together as well, ready to perform the transmutation. And like that face as well, just the cheesy grin as well looks really freaking cool. It really does. I'm just, I'm just crestfallen right now that uh, Koto Bukia, what happened? Why? Why have I got a paint transfer of all things? But okay, anyway, let's do a spin on him. So you can see all the sculpting on his back as well here, like all the shoulder blades. Look at that as well and just like this even like the wires as well are all in here for the auto mount as well and it's just there is so much awesome detail on this figure he's really really amazing he really is and as much as i'd like to have just done like a proper review <laughs> like i've done before i just wanted to get an unboxing guy like i said i just i'm just that excited and i still feel really excited about him even though i've got that white mark there which is going to suck because i can't really use this option um I can't get rid of it, it's just, it's not possible. I mean, if I remove him off the base, I'll show you, like, close up. Ugh. So I'll push that back a sec, a little bit. It's like you'll see here, if I zoom in, there we go, we're gonna have fun here. Yeah, so I mean, that looks like it's a white paint blemish, but I don't think it is. I think that it's like, just like a, where the paint has been scraped. So, despite the fact that I managed to remove the white paint, there is still that underneath, and uh, that is really, really heartbreaking. That really is, because um, it just ruins everything. I mean, you could say it's just got paint on his knee or something, but <laughs> it doesn't. It just doesn't look right, does it? So it's unfortunate. Uh, but anyway, actually, I tell you what, let's uh, have a close-up look on him like this. Anyway, as you can see freaking amazing so I didn't actually bring the body in here so you can see what I mean like all of the amazing detail here on the shoes and like on the belt here as well look at the belt it's just so freaking cool it really is and I was just I'm just very very excited for this figure and I'm still excited for this figure I feel that uh, you know that's a little bit of a 
bummer, but there's not a lot I can do about that. I mean, this base, for example, oh my god, is so freaking awesome. It really is. So, um, what I'm going to do now is just swap faces. Hopefully, we'll see what happens with that. So you can see he's got his uh, other face on, the determined face with the other body. Very easy to swap actually, very similar to a Figma. So it's literally just sort of pulling this bit off here at the front and the whole face comes off and it's just easy to swap them around. So that is a good thing and I think literally that is it for this uh, review. I just bring in actually the other body very quickly to show you they are. Here he is with his cheesy grin on this body, very simple to do. Um, I'm very sick. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that is it for this review. Koto Buki, you have blown my mind, you really have. Um, I just, I am completely and utterly dumbstruck at this figure. It is, there is just so much on there to uh, catch the eye, like even like the cracks in the granite as well. You've got all the faces, you've got the armour, there's just so much on there to catch the eye. And if you are a former Alchemist fan, like I said, you're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. You really are. And yeah, I may have that bit of white on there, but it's not the end of the world because I'm probably display him anyway with like um, the his his other display option. Let's put it that way, the original display option. Um, Possibly with a cheesy grin, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that anyway, and I will tell you guys that uh, I'll be back with a proper review next time. <laughs> this was all very, very haphazardly done. Uh, I was just very, very excited, I'm sure you can understand that, uh, to share this with you guys, and I think I would have preferred to have done it in a little bit more professional way, but um, yeah, hopefully you've got an idea of just how amazing this figure is. And uh, I did do some justice for it because, oh my god, Kotobukiya, you have blown my mind. You are amazingly awesome and continue to do so. I can't wait to see if they're going to do any more for my Alchemist figures. I really hope they do because this is absolutely sublime. It really is. And on that, I will say thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon. And uh, yeah, it's it's been an interesting one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll leave you with some pictures and yeah, thanks for watching, sayonara! Sukiba Kariyo,